So you're facing this issue right and you want to solve this issue and how do you solve this issue the question is so in order to solve this question there are a few simple steps that you may do and then this this problem is permanently solved so the first thing that you must do is go in the documents after going in the documents there is a folder named rockstar games right click on the folder and delete the folder this folder contains your um, information about the story mode and the settings in game settings so if you delete this folder all the data about your story mode will be destroyed and then you have to you know replay everything so I usually don't recommend uh, deleting this for folder but if this issue still persists then you have to delete this folder furthermore um, there is another way to solve this problem by going into your run by pressing Windows plus R button and then going into app data app data and then going into local and then going into something called Rockstar let's find Rockstar here Rockstar after finding Rockstar just delete this folder it's usually like 500 KB or something just delete this folder and then relaunch Rockstar. But before relaunching Rockstar, you must make sure that your stream or Epic Games, whatever you know you use to run GTA 5, is closed completely. So, in order to check that, you have to make sure you come into the Task Manager or from the you know Task Bar below, and then you close the task immediately. After closing the task, the you must open rockstar games it takes about a few you know minutes to launch uh, rockstars if you delete those stuff uh, there is a possibility that it may update itself and then you know ask for a login or a password like this so once you once it asks for a password or a login you just you know give the email and the password and, you know this is actually a good sign that it's, it's asking about the email and the password so you quickly give the email and the password and then you know move further on okay so I just gave the password and there you go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go launch epic launcher because that is necessarily important and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch the game using epic launcher I'm gonna go in the library and launch GTA 5 like so yes now it's gonna you know you show this up and that's you, you just click on the yes button and then wait for it to open all right if this problem doesn't get fixed by these steps then you might want to install a VPN into the computer for you know running GTA 5 once all right and it will work so yeah that's it for today have a wonderful day meet you in the next one